In the middle of the 19th century, astronomers found out that our nearest stars are about a million times farther away than the Sun. People must have thought that we will never know what the stars are made of. The key to this mystery was provided by the colors of the rainbow. Clearly, this is not a proper rainbow, but I'm producing something similar by passing light from this lamp through this prism. Isaac Newton called this a spectrum, which in Latin means image. Newton realized that white light is made out of a mixture of colors. The light of this particular lamp comes from a hot piece of wire glowing inside a bulb like this one. That piece of wire is a solid. But there are other sources of light which are not solid. Let me show you what I mean. This light is produced by burning gas. Now see what happens when I bring sodium chloride to it. And now rubidium chloride. And now copper sulfate. The flames are beautiful, but we can look at these colors in a different way by using this device, which works a little bit like a prism. It's a very simple spectroscope. Let's have another look at the light from a solid wire, similar to the one we saw before. We can see that, like the prism, we see all the colors, a continuum spectrum. Now, let's have another look at the flames. I'm going to try first sodium chloride. And I can see a yellow line and nothing else. Now let's try rubidium chloride. And I can see a yellow line and a lot of red lines on the right. Huh. Now Finally, let's have another look at copper sulfate. And I can see that yellow line again and a lot of blue and green lines on the left. Now let's have a look at another kind of lamp. This bulb here doesn't have a piece of wire inside it has mercury vapor. I can see a couple of yellow lines, and then on the left a green line, and farther on the left a yellow line. This pattern of lines is characteristic of mercury vapor, and in fact scientists have found that every single chemical element has its own unique pattern of color lines. You can see this more clearly in these images taken with high quality spectroscopes. The amazing thing is that the light source can be here or there or millions of millions of kilometers away in the stars and we can still see the same pattern of colors. So even though they are so far away, with this very simple technique we can tell what the stars are made of.